In this video, we will be covering Python modules, packages, built-in modules, Python communities, and many other things. So the reason for naming this video as the power of Python is so, uh, okay, let's wait. Once you watch this video, you will get the answer. So let's get started. Modules are simply the files with .py extensions and it contains Python code. So basically it contains Python functions, classes, variables and uh, you would have already watched from my previous video. So functions are basically the bundle or a set of instruction that you want to use as repeatedly. And classes are basically a user defined blueprint or a prototype from which objects are created. So basically it provides an easy way of keeping the data members and methods together in one place which helps in keeping the program more organized uh, so but when we create a bigger project so we end up having many such python files so basically the modules and it keeps on growing and growing because we put a similar functionality in one module and then so we end up creating many modules so we need to find a way to connect these together. So basically we want to call these modules uh, uh, in the main file. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, so for this specific video, we will be using a PyCharm. So PyCharm is actually an uh, IDE used specifically for Python programming language. It's a very strong IDE. So if you are a Python developer, I would highly recommend using a PyCharm for writing the, the code. It, it's, it's a very smart IDE for code completion, code inspection, on fly error highlighting, quick fixes, uh, so code refactoring. So lots of features are available. So I highly recommend exploring this out and I'll create a different video also how to use the PyCharm. So, uh, so once, so I'll, I'll right away start with a new project that is I have created Python project. So uh, it's it's a completely empty project. So that has a virtual environment that I'll be explaining what is virtual environment soon. And then it has a Python 3.6 uh, pointing it to for this specific project. And then it creates a main Python file. So this is the start of the uh, once you create it. So it auto creates this main file. So basically Python interpreter looks for the main file and uh, as soon as it finds the main file it runs the code in the main file so main file ha should have all the packages and all the the code actually starts from here so uh, that's why if, if you will see this line number five it says like if the name of the file is main so so run this so if you change the name of the file also it doesn't matter but it looks for the specific file to run the code okay so let's create our first module so we can go to python project click on new and python file so uh, the naming convention is we use a snake case while creating the module name uh, so basically each space is replaced by an underscore character and the first letter uh, is written in the lower case so let's say i name this as module one and enter so here is the module is created so we will make it simple so I'll just have a print statement here and I'll just say module one. Okay, and then I'll just save it, very simple. Uh, so let's go to the main file again. So now here is the main file. So in order to call this module in our main file, we use an import statement, uh, import keyword. So I just go here and import and then i just say module one okay and then just save it so now when i use an import keyword so it's imported this module one in the main class so let's run this so you see as soon as i import it it calls this module one and it printed the statement module one and then it goes to this uh, function and this function is compiled and then it goes to this statement and then uh, it's a main file so it printed this again function main method 
okay so let's create a function inside this module one so let's say if i have module one method and then i'll have a print statement here module one method okay and then i'll just save it so in order to call this what we have to do is we just have to use the dot notation so i'll just go module one that is already imported in this main method and go dot and then it shows here the function okay and then when i just save this and run this main file so you can see that it first goes to this uh module one it print the statement and there is a uh, this function is defined so as soon as this function is defined we call it through the dot notation it printed this and the main method so that's the way we we actually can communicate between different modules so using the import statement so but let's take another example when your project is getting bigger so we want all the functionality in a single folder so in that case we go for a packages so in short python packages is a collection of modules modules that are related to each other are mainly put into the same package so let's create our package here so in order to create the package we go to the again the project and then new and then we go for python package so we name this as let's say package one okay and then so you you can look at it here is when we create a package it creates an uh, underscore underscore int and underscore underscore dot pi file so so to, so this is mainly created so that the interpreter can understand this is a python package so let's create a file under this so python mod so i'll go and then let's say package module okay so do the similar way we create the same functions and then okay so here package module okay and then let's say here also package module method and then we call this as package underscore module underscore method and save this one so let's call import this so in order to import now the module into the main class what we do is here is import and then we give the package name first we cannot give the module name right away so we define the package so my package is package one and then we give a dot so and then package module so that way we can now importing the whole package module class so package module in this main file so using the dot notation so now what i can do here is in order to call the method i have to follow the same dot notation so uh, so now what we have to do is package one dot package module dot package module method so let's say if i save this and run this file so now you see the package module so package module this is printed and after that uh, we call this one so this again the package module this is printed because this is imported after that because python interpreters goes line by line and then module one so we are calling this module one method so this is printed after that and then we go back here and then mod this package module one package so we have package one so this is called and after that this python file is compiled and then we call this method so package module method and then the main method that is printed so uh, now it becomes very long so for an example let's say we have another package inside this package so what we have so it becomes pretty long like package so it becomes package one dot 
then the child package, then the module name. So dot. So it becomes big, very long if we have package inside package. So that's that's there is another way also to do the import statement. So if I just need to use another way, so what we have to do is we use from. So from we define package one dot and then module so uh, so we just go and import so if we want to import just this method so we just go and say import this method so what happens is now we don't need to define all of these we can just remove this and then this method is called so let's say if i run this again so similar way module one package module module one method so now it saved lot of the spaces and now the code is also cleaner so what we have to do is from the package name and the module name and then import which method you want to uh, you, you want to call in this main method so if there is many methods in that and you want to call all so you can just import uh, that module or give the star here import star and if you have a specific method that you want to call uh, then you can just call, put the name of that method and you can call that right away uh, without defining that big lines so that's the way we call this uh, package and package modules and connect them together okay so i know you have been waiting for the question the power of python so here comes the power of python so python already has built in packages that are created so we don't need to create them from scratch that's uh, good news and we just need to import in our module so you can find those in the python documentation so uh, if you go to docs.python.org so python module index so here are all the built-in functions that are already created and maintained by python community members and it's very very useful so for an example it has a base 64 and you have a calendar if you scroll down date and time uh, modules decimal so and uh, there are lots and lots and like while building any of the project first come to this uh, built-in library and then look at it if you can reuse anything and most of the time you will find something here so that's the power of python that okay so let's see how we can see these built-in uh, modules in the pycharm so when you come to the pycharm there is external libraries and you go to your python 3.6 and then whatever the version you have installed and then here comes all the different the whole complete library so it has different modules already pre-installed and uh, what we saw in the url the python documentation so same thing exists here as well so it when you install the python all these packages this whole library get installed in the ide so for an example let's say if we, i want to read about any of the modules so let's pick someone randomly so randomly let's pick random so okay so here you see that uh, it has the complete documentation, uh, the doc string available, and different methods. So in order to use it, what you have to do is just an import and uh, uh, the name, the random, and then using the dot notation, you can call different functions. Okay, but wait, this is not the true power of Python. <laughs> the actual power comes from the external community members where developers and many big companies have created their own libraries packages modules so we don't need to reinvent the wheel so we just need to import download these modules for an example numpy pandas tensorflow scikit-learn so all these are very strong libraries and we use them very often if you if you are a Python developer you will be using these very often and we use them using pip install command so whenever we want to import this we use the pip install command and we import them in our system or in our IDE or the code editor what we are whatever we are using 
and then we can import these libraries in our python module okay to find these packages you can go to python package index so uh, the url is py py.org it's pretty simple and small so let's say if i want to uh, search for tensorflow tensor my, my favorite one tensorflow so i can just go here and you can look at here there is a tensorflow 2.0 so it has the whole release history like what are the different versions it has and then it has like who developed this and then who is maintaining it the complete documentation different licenses and also always i would prefer look at the stars so uh, if there is a lot of star that means this is uh, accredited by a different community and uh, uh, also <clears throat> that will help you to get the assurance that this is an uh, authorized com python community package so you can easily use that so that's all about this video and uh, i hope you you learn like what are modules packages built-in libraries python communities and also you got the answer for what is the power of python uh and if yes so uh, please subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions then leave your uh, questions in the comment section and soon uh, i'll start the ai and ml videos and how python is useful for ai and ml programming language so stay, stay tuned and hit the subscribe button to get notified thanks for watching